Moving into a new property can be far more exciting than leaving the old one. And with rental properties, an added layer of stress can be the question of getting your bond back. So here are a few things to consider when wanting to get your bond returned in full. Complete the condition report. It's common for renters to forget to fill in their condition report, particularly in share houses where housemates think someone else has done it. But it's simple and free to note any issues or damage to the house prior to you moving in. Photos can also be added. What are you liable for? Tenants are obligated to leave the property in a state that is reasonably clean, subject to wear and tear. You're not liable for painting or recarpeting if they are over 10 years old, or structural issues such as walls, roof and foundation. Cleaning. Ask the landlord if they recommend a cleaner. This way they're less likely to question the quality of the cleaning work. Leave the place in as good as condition as possible. Is the bond worth getting back? Whilst it might take an hour to fill in a report when you first move in and a few hours of cleaning, if the bond is $1,000 and the time spent is four hours, that's $250 an hour. Sign the bond form. At least one tenant must sign the refund of rental form, and this form needs to indicate how the refund is to be paid once you move out. So there are some great tips to help you get your bond back. The key is communication and a strong paper trail documenting the condition of the property when you moved in. Now get your bond back and use it to enjoy your new place.